Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install the latest version of Proxmox 8 on a dedicated server like Minus hosted by Hetzner. First of all, you need to log in to your rescue system. When you have logged in on Hetzner, you can start the install image command. We select Debian the latest bookworm version. We will follow the installer. Next, we can configure some settings for our installation. For example, the RAID status and the hostname. I select software RAID 1 because I have two 500GB SSD on my server and in RAID level 1 the SSDs are mirrored, in case one SSD fails. I'll type in my host name and that should be it for the configuration. Click on save and quit the editor. Now confirm with yes you want to overwrite the contents on your SSDs. Now you can see Debian is installing. I will fast forward the installation. Now we need to reboot the server. I restart my session and log back in. I will use the Proxmox provided installation guide for installing it on Debian. We type the first comment and check if our DNS settings are correct. When you have done it with Hetzner, your settings should be correct. Now add the repository with the following comment. and download the Proxmox software. Update and full upgrade. Next, we will install the Proxmox kernel. This took a while in my case. Next, we need to reboot. Log back in after the reboot. The next comment is install the postfix. Type yes. And now you need to select a setting for sending notification email. I choose the default. Re-enter your host name This installation took a while in my case. Now we can remove the Linux kernel, like described from Proxmox. Update Grub and remove OS Prober. That's it. Now we can connect via HTTPS our IP and don't forget the port 8006. That's it. You can see we have the latest Proxmox version 8 installed on Hetzner. Hetzner also provides installing Proxmox from their install image tool, but only version 7 point something. If you want the latest version 8, this is the way to do it. Leave a like when you liked the video, subscribe for more videos like this and leave a comment what could I have done better. 
See you next time.